Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, September 24th, 2015. My name is Cliff Backus, and this is your pushbuttonstocktrading.com daily video market review. Just a quick note before we get started. I'll be traveling again this weekend. I will be leaving today and returning on Tuesday, September 29th. I won't be doing a video market review while I'm away. The next review will be on Wednesday, September 30th. I'll see you then. The S&P 500 and the NASDAQ edged lower yesterday on sleepy volume as many traders took the Yom Kippur holiday off. While the S&P and the NASDAQ closed down for the day, the IBD 50 and the 8585 both advanced. I believe this is good short-term indication for the bulls as the makeup of the IBD indices are continually updated and to reflect the leading momentum stocks and give us an idea of what the market leadership is doing. So while the stodgy old S&P and the NASDAQ were down, leading issues edged higher yesterday. Declining issues bettered advancers by three to two while not looking healthy the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline line is looking a bit less bearish, having put in a higher high and a higher low since the August 24th market low. New lows continued to better new highs. Small capitalization stocks outperformed large again yesterday and continue to outperform on a 10-day moving average basis. This is behavior more typical of a bull market. Our market momentum model is indicating recent market momentum is to the upside. Our swing timing model is indicating a neutral condition in the market. Our market timing signal on the NASDAQ is barely holding on to our most aggressive margin signal, while the S&P 500 is indicating a primary sell signal and an aggressive buy signal as a secondary indication. What this means is our most aggressive traders can begin to selectively utilize margin to leverage their portfolios. It should be noted that while the NASDAQ has gone to a margin signal, the S&P 500 remains on a primary sell signal with a secondary aggressive buy. Our most conservative traders may want to wait for the S&P 500 to confirm the NASDAQ. The O'Neill timing model is indicating an uptrend under pressure. Since O'Neill's follow-through day confirmed the uptrend in the market on September 8th, the S&P 500 has four distribution days while the NASDAQ has had three. The distribution count is beginning to reach levels where it should be of concern to the bulls. I think a note of caution is in order here. While the NASDAQ is on our most aggressive buy signal, with the major averages fallen, having fallen so far below their 200-day moving averages, it's likely that this market will retest recent lows. Be careful with any entries and keep your stops in place. This market could continue to be prone to whipsaw. Again, while our primary timing signal is a buy and our secondary indication is a margin signal on the NASDAQ, these signals have not been confirmed by the S&P 500. Be careful. Okay, what we're looking at here is Moody's list of 177 industry groups sorted in HGSI, high growth stock investors, by five day percentage price change. The reason that we look at this is by noting where the strength in the market is on a daily basis, we can get an idea of where the power in the market is rotating to. The basic premise of momentum trading, which is what we're doing here, is that we need to identify where the power is and get out in front of it. So let's see where the strength in the market has been in the past week. In the past five trading sessions, renewable energy project development has been up 10.6%. Consumer products up 3.3%. Hardware up 2%. Food products up 1.4%. And rounding out the top five, mortgage finance is up 1.2. Recently, we've been seeing a lot of strength in retail. Today, we get consumer products, hardware, and food products. We've also been seeing a lot of strength in finance, as is indicated by the mortgage finance index. Okay, let's see what the NASDAQ composite's up to.
Yesterday, the NASDAQ composite fell 3.98 points, or 0.08%. We closed at 47.52. We traded in a very tight range here. And trading volume was very low yesterday as traders took off the Yom Kippur holiday. For you followers of William O'Neill, the uptrend is under pressure. We've been in a confirmed uptrend in the market since September 8th. We currently have three distribution days on the NASDAQ. Right now the NASDAQ is bracketed by support down here in the 4292 area and resistance up here in the 4900 range. We are on a margin signal on the NASDAQ but we're only on the margin signal by the slightest of margins. Notice how the NASDAQ is trading below its 1% envelope. We have a downward sloping 21 day exponential moving average, but our 10 day, our 10 day simple moving average continues to be upward sloping. That upward sloping 10 day moving average is the only thing that's keeping our market timing model on our most aggressive margin signal right now. So be careful. Let's look at the S&P 500. S&P yesterday was down 3.98 points or two tenths of a percent. We closed at 1938. The S&P yesterday also had a very tight trading session as traders took the Yom Kippur holiday off. Trading volume was very low. The S&P is also indicating an uptrend under pressure with four distribution days since confirmation of the uptrend on September 8th. That's a lot of distribution in a very short period of time and should send up some caution flags on the market. Right now the S&P is bracketed by support down here in the 1862 area and resistance up here in the 1993 range. The S&P is still on a sell signal with a secondary signal of aggressive buy. What that means is that most traders will want to continue to raise cash while our most aggressive traders can begin to wade back into the market here. Finally, I want to take a quick look at a stock. Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings operates a cruise line servicing North America, Europe, Central and South America, and the Caribbean. The stock right now is putting in a first stage base. It's putting in a first stage base by virtue of the fact that on this day, the day of the flash crash, we undercut the prior base low down here in this area. I would call this more of a second stage base on base formation. Either way that you look at it, we have a very early stage base with a pivot point of 62.93. Norwegian Cruise Lines gets a 68% checklist rating. And yesterday, Norwegian Cruise Lines traded higher trading volume than any down day in the past 10 trading sessions. That's the definition of a pocket pivot. And we note that on that pocket pivot, we found support right here at our 21-day exponential moving average and took out our 10-day simple moving average. Norwegian Cruise Lines is putting in a cup and handle base right here with the buy point of 62.93 right there at the high point of the handle. Just a quick note, typically in a handle we want to see trading volume decline. Trading volume hasn't declined in this handle. Trading volume's been steady to upward. That's about all I have for today. If you want to talk about any of the stocks mentioned today or any of our market strategies, please feel free to give me a call drop me an email or make an appointment. Come by the office, see what we're up to. Contact information is on the home page. For daily access to our model portfolios, trade updates, and more up-to-date information on our trading strategies, please take a minute to go to our subscription page and subscribe to Push Button Stock Trading. You can also follow us on Twitter at Push Button Stock. Again, my name is Cliff Backus. That's your daily video market review. Have a safe and profitable day. Keep your stops in place, and I will see you again tomorrow. Please stay tuned for our important disclaimers. All the best. Disclaimers. 
Push Button Stock Trading Video Market Review is produced and edited by Clifford B. Backus. Mr. Backus is a Senior Vice President of Investments, Technical Analyst, Portfolio Manager, and Partner with the investment firm of O'Hannison Liqueurs Incorporated. Video Market Review is produced solely for the benefit of our clients, friends, and colleagues. Anything written, stolen, and or plagiarized in this publication is done without malice. Further, the analysis and opinions expressed in this publication are strictly those of the editor and not of O'Hannison Liqueurs Incorporated, its affiliates, subsidiaries, or any of the officers or employees of O'Hannison Liqueurs Inc. On that note, we submit the following. The analysis calculations and evaluations presented herein are based on data and assumptions O'Hannison Liqueurs Incorporated believes to be accurate. O'Hannison Liqueurs Incorporated makes no representation that such analysis or calculations are accurate or that such valuations represent levels at which actual trades may occur. This report has been prepared from original sources, except where otherwise noted, and data we believe to be reliable. O'Hannison Liqueurs Inc., its affiliates and subsidiaries and or their officers and employees or their families may from time to time acquire, hold, or sell a position in the securities mentioned herein. Moreover, opinions may differ from one entity to the next. If we are used in connection with the purchase or sale of any security discussed in this report, we may act as principal for our own account or as agent for both the buyer and the seller. Push button stock trading is dedicated to the education of friends, clients, and paid subscribers. Push button stock trading is an information service only. The information provided herein is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell stocks of any kind. Push button stock trading is created to aid subscribers in making informed investment decisions based wholly or in part on technical analysis. It's possible that at this time or some subsequent date, the editors of push button stock trading may own, buy, or sell the investments presented. All investors should consult a qualified professional before making any investment. The information provided has been obtained from sources deemed to be reliable, but it is not guaranteed as to the accuracy or completeness. The editors of push button stock trading make every effort to provide timely information to subscribers but cannot guarantee specific delivery times due to factors beyond our control.